Okay, before I get started, I just discovered something so good. So if you take a droplet of rosehip oil or like a vitamin C serum, whatever it may be, and mix that with your Fit Me foundation, it gives you this really nice glow that isn't oily. It's just like a proper glow. And I'm so glad I just discovered this. I feel very like illuminous right now. That's my pro tip. I literally just use like two small droplets of the Fit Me foundation and then just like one very, very small droplet of the serum. Mix it together on the back of my hand and then just apply it with a buffing brush. It's cute. Hey you guys, it's Rowie again. Back at it on the makeup loft with another festival tutorial. I'm excited about this one to be honest because I'm using some products that I haven't used before that I've just been playing with on my hands and loving so far. So I'm really excited to actually play with it on my face and create a really cute eye look for you guys. What I want to do first of course is conceal my lids using my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. Wow, I don't know how many times I've said that in a makeup tutorial because I do this every single day. Time. Like it's a tradition that I'm probably gonna pass down to my children. So Maybelline, please don't ever discontinue this concealer or I'm gonna have to buy like a hundred of them. Because I'm gonna be using more of a creamy consistency on my eyes, what I'm actually gonna do is using Maybelline's Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. I'm just gonna set my eyelids and just make sure everything is sort of patted down and smooth. Dabbing it into the lid like that. The same little buffing brush that I was using and just dabbing that on top of my um, concealer. I don't know about you guys, but I get a lot of creasing on my lids because I have quite hooded eyes. So setting it just helps to get rid of any of those crease lines when you apply concealer. Okay, next, what I want to do is actually smoke out the crease and the edges of my eyes, not actually my lid, but just going around that lid area. So I'll be using the Nudes palette for this and probably will use these colors, maybe even just that. I think I'm actually gonna go for this lighter color here first, just to build up. And then I'm just going to smoke out the crease. You can already see, just by doing that, it creates a little bit of definition and actually makes it look bigger, in my opinion, anyway. Using little flicking motions to help blend in that shadow. I haven't actually used this before, so I'm surprising myself as I go along. But um, yeah, no, there's not a lot of fallout with the products and it really, really really easy to blend and then just going in on the other eye as well so Maybelline has been such a long time favorite for me I've been using Maybelline since I first started using makeup so I think since I was like 15 I feel like Maybelline is the closest drugstore brand to high-end makeup I remember when I used to work at a pharmacy I used to recommend the Fit Me foundation as a substitute for high-end makeup and the customers absolutely loved it because you know it's affordable and good I'm going to go in with that darker color now just two little dabs, tapping up that extra product, and then running that along the outer corner of my crease. When it comes to festival makeup, I think everyone's pet peeve is the fact that they can't wear heavy makeup because it's just gonna melt and drip by the end of the day. But I actually find that the way that I apply my festival makeup is that it never actually, you know, it doesn't actually come off. Like I manage to keep it on all day. And I think the key to that is a good setting powder. Like once you set your face, you're really not gonna move for the rest of the day. Having a matte foundation to help absorb those oils is also another technique. All right, so you can start to see a little smoky eye coming through very subtly, just in the crease area. I'm gonna be using Maybelline's Color Tattoo Eye Chrome in the shade, let me just check, Electric Emerald. It actually looks like a little liquid lipstick and you know what, I'm sure you could probably use it as a lipstick as well if you just used your finger and just sort of patted it along the lips. But I'm going to be using it as its purpose, which is for the eyes. So what I'm going to do, instead of taking this brush and applying it directly to my lid, I am going to pick up some of that color on my finger. You can see that beautiful chrome green effect popping through. And then I'm just going to pat that along my lid like this. And using your finger as well really helps to pull through that pigment and make it look a lot more intense. Because if you use a brush, then it's just going to disperse and look a little bit too blended. I'm actually going to go against what I've said in regards to applying it with my finger and apply it straight from the bottle. Because I want it to be really intense just on the midsection of my eye, making sure that the edges, of course, are blended into that smoky shadow. It's starting to make a bit of a mess, but to be honest, my best looks are the messiest looks. My hands look like an absolute disaster, but my face is always on point. I'm gonna go ahead and continue with the other eye. What I like about this green is that it's a very versatile type of green. And I feel like it could go with a lot of different festival outfits. And also what could be fun is that you don't even need to invest in expensive 
festival clothes and something different. You could literally just reinvent your wardrobe, wear something like I'm wearing, black and white, and just do a colorful eye, and that is your festival look ready to go. I'm actually so happy with how this turned out, and I genuinely thought it was going to take me so much longer, but that was so easy. Uh, love a quick but cute makeup look. For the under eye, I'm not going to go in with a dark green or even a black. I want to keep it quite light, um, just so it's not too intense. And you know, if I'm wearing my eyes during the day at a festival, I don't want things to smudge everywhere. So I'm just going to take that little light color in the corner there and just run that underneath my eyes. That way it's a smoky eye, but also a wearable smoky eye for the day. What's a festival look without a crazy amount of highlighter? So I'm taking my Master Chrome, adding that in my inner corner just for a bit of sparkle. Like that. I don't know why, but I really love the look of highlighter in my inner corner. I feel like it widens my eyes just a little bit more. Even just through my brow bone as well. I'm just going to add a little bit more concealer and just blend that out with my buffing brush because I've lost my beauty blender. I actually love the way that this looks right now. Look, sometimes I wear falsies to a festival, sometimes I don't. Um, it's actually best to not wear false lashes because sometimes it's windy and they might fly off and then if you don't bring glue, it's a complete tragedy. So your safest bet is to just double coat your lashes in mascara to make it look extra voluminous. And then taking my Total Temptation Waterproof Mascara, just in case the festival is that good that you literally cry. Oh, I like this brush. I can actually feel it combing my lashes. I'm just going to dip in again and do a, a second coat just to really elongate his lashes. So you can apply a second, a third coat and it's not going to start to stick together. Lashes will still look nice and feathered and natural so that's what I really like about this mascara. I'm going to do my bottom lashes as well. Going back in with my Master Fix setting powder, it's time to set my whole face. So pretty much the spots where I get nice and oily. So I'm just doing a bit of my cheeks, my nose, my forehead especially, and then my chin. So I've added a little bit of contour to my cheekbones just to bring a bit of structure into my jawline. Now I've got the Fit Me blush in the shade 30. I like this blush because it's a really nice rosy pink and it has specks of gold through it. So it does really complement my um, inner corner highlight. And I love the look of rosy cheeks, like, so cute. I'm gonna go back in with my Molten Gold Master Chrome and dust that on my cheeks, just on top of the blush. I'm always so blown away by this highlighter. It always looks so good. Okay, check out this epic lippy. It's called Serpentine in the shade 986. It's so nice. Such a beautiful metallic -y green and it looks so good. Like even just swatching it on my hand, it looks amazing. So I'm going to apply that to my lips. I feel like so many people would shy away from a lipstick like this, but it's actually so nice. And you can diffuse it with a nude to make it a little bit less intense as well. Okay, I want to say that I'm done, but what's a festival look without some glitter? Ooh, my eyes are watering. At least I have waterproof mascara on. All right, my makeup queens, the look is finally complete. What do we think? I actually had a lot of fun doing this makeup look, especially because I was using the color tattoo because I've never used this before and I love it. I also love how it dries as well. It doesn't smudge. Yet another good reason to wear it to a festival. Let me know what you guys think of this look and are you daring enough to wear something like this or would you just stick with either just the lip or just the eyes and a neutral eye slash neutral lip? Thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in to the Makeup Loft to see my little festival tutorial. Really, really appreciate you guys watching. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you can see more videos from me and my other makeup loft gal. My name is Rowie Singh and until next time, bye!